This is CubeOS. According to the internet, this is the most secure operating system in the world. But I have never used it or tried using it. But in this video, I'm going to try to install it and hopefully use it. So let's go. So I have the website ready uh, here. I can download this. So let's download the latest version of CubeOS. Oh no, <laughs> this is going to take forever. 6.4 gigabyte what the hell it's like uh downloading a windows uh, iso file it's bigger than windows iso file actually now the windows 11 iso file is much smaller i think it's five point something gigabyte it's not even six gigabyte anymore let me try to download this using the download manager i think it will download much faster yeah now this will take 10 minutes while it's downloading let's prepare our vm hopefully it works on vm i think this is based on linux so i'm gonna have to select linux here i don't know what to select here let's just go with the ubuntu every linux is almost the same so most secure oh yeah why not secret <laughs> okay four gigabytes of ram uh i'm gonna give it like eight gigabytes of ram because the iso file itself is huge so i'm pretty sure it will require a really good hardware okay download completed thank you motrix now uh let's select that iso file in here all right so iso browse cubeos okay and hopefully i can actually install it and use it because this is also my first time so test media and install cubeos okay so that's that, that's gonna be a bit easier oh i can't even test don't tell me don't tell me this doesn't work on vm oh it didn't work okay i'm gonna have to try and create another virtual machine i think this time i'm gonna select the windows preset hopefully this will work yeah it booted now let's see if it opens the desktop environment and look at that it's actually booting <laughs> so this is i don't know this is not linux i think this is something else wow okay <laughs> look at that but the screen size is bigger why is that i think i need to change some settings Okay, I'm gonna have to close you one more time because I can't. Oh, okay, okay, wait, wait, wait. I think I can. This thing is scrollable here. Okay, why do I have such a big unsupported hardware detected? It's okay, I still wanna use it, okay? So yeah, this thing actually requires a good PC, I think, yeah? This is not your typical Linux distro. <laughs> okay no disk selected okay uh i'm already lost here <laughs> uh this and disk uh 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 done i think that's how you do it oh yeah 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 this is this is working no failed wow i can't why okay let me fix the screen first because this is too much okay let me change the resolution let's go with the 1080p oh yeah now we have smaller screen okay now hopefully unsupported don't it's okay it's okay oh wait i know i know why this is not working okay wait i have a solution for this okay this is i know i know I know, I know how to fix this. I'm going to go into the processors and I'm going to enable the virtualization engine. Okay, I'm going to enable everything here. I think we only need the top one, uh, Intel VT, and that will actually work. I think so. So let me, let me, let me. I think this will actually work. It didn't say unsupported hardware this time. Okay, <laughs> I think this is work. This will work. Failed to save storage configuration uh no just why why begin installation that thing is not working uh cube os xfce okay that thing is not working how do i make this thing work uh advanced custom uh encrypt no let's not encrypt the data i think this will do this will do okay i'm gonna failed to save storage configuration no uh, okay let me try to do this one more time another new vm i think i'm gonna use 
my 200 IQ brain one more time. I selected the Linux this time instead of Windows and I don't think this is going to work. There is one more thing that I want to try. <laughs> I think this is not going to work because this is just blinking and it's just going to crash itself. I think the installer oh, failed. I know what's happening here. Okay, give me a second. I know what's happening here. This is the last try. Okay. And I'm pretty sure that will just work. This time I'm going to select the Windows and then uh, Windows 10. And here what I'm going to do is allocate the space right now. Can I do that? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm going to select that option. Allocate all disk space now. So, yeah, I think this will work. OK, if this doesn't work, I don't know what else is going to work. <laughs> So let's uh, use the resolution a little bit smaller. So it's going to take a while because uh, I'm allocating all the space right now. I think this will work. I'm pretty sure this will work. So it's been 30 minutes already and I haven't even installed it yet. <laughs> okay, it's done. Make sure that all these things are checked. And yeah, I think we are good to go. This time, uh, I'm pretty sure this will work. Okay. All right. Here is the installer. This time it's in full screen. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Let's go click continue. It didn't say unsupported hardware or incompatible hardware. We're going to go and select our storage and Huh? Okay. <laughs> I was I was trying to end the video like this, like angry and mad and all that. Ah, I think this is going to work. So this disk encryption, I don't want to encrypt my disk. Okay. So I'm going to let that thing. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Done. you have chosen to encrypt some of your data you will need to create a passphrase that will use to access your data when you start your computer uh, yeah it worked <laughs> it worked okay I was about to give up I was about to give up <laughs> again as I said I'm also installing this for the first time and I have absolutely zero idea how this operating system works. Now I know that this thing requires a beefy computer plus, uh, you know, it's uh, the most secure operating system. So it's going to require all those encryption and whatnot. OK, well, <laughs> I almost gave up, man. Oh, yeah, I think finally it's almost done. It took almost like 10 to 15 minutes. Yeah. I'm happy. <laughs> it took me almost 30 minutes to uh, figure out how to install this or get this thing to work. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm happy. Oh, yeah. It took exactly, I'm not going to lie, 10 minutes <laughs> after it began installing. Okay, so reboot. And in total, it has been exactly 40 minutes. Okay. Oh, okay. So it's using the Zen hypervisor. So this is not like traditional Linux distro thingy. Oh yeah, it's using virtualization software or program something. Okay. Oh, oh now it actually one, two, one, two. That's the password. Now, oh, disk one. <laughs> now I have to enter the disk uh, encrypted password. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. What happened? It's oh, okay, okay. It's it's logging in. Okay, 
Okay, I think it worked <laughs> somehow. Uh, initial setup. Oh, okay. Wait, there is more. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Debian. Okay, I I don't think I'm the right person to uh, explain this operating system. I think it uses virtual machines to uh, use applications and stuff like that. So what I'm gonna do is actually install the debian only because that's i'm familiar with i don't need fedora i don't know what is who next oh okay this is another linux distribution okay for now i'm just gonna play with the one virtual machine okay so i'm gonna choose only the debian here okay uh the default uh preset template configuration that's what they say finish configuration okay this is <laughs> i think this shouldn't take that long now since i have selected only one template that is the debian so you can see it's uh, installing the template vm debian xfce okay so this is how this thing works so uh let me actually try to show you guys this i think internet can still help so this is using this thing called zen project or zen hypervisor this is a free and open source type 1 hypervisor which means you know, the type one hypervisors are like operating system. You install it on your hardware like operating system uh, and then it will act as an operating system and then you can, you know, uh, create a virtual machines. You run the virtual machines that way. And it is the fastest hypervisor or virtual machine software. And it's different than the virtual box or VMware and all that. So I think that's what QoS does or works. So basically it acts as a type one hypervisor like the Zen hypervisor. It is actually using the Zen hypervisor. Yeah, I think it's gonna take another 10 to 15 minutes to install this template and uh, good thing that i only selected one template <laughs> otherwise you know if i had selected multiple of them it would take even longer and i feel like i'm not completely lost even if i had to install this on a hardware i could do it i managed to install this on vm which was also kind of difficult oh yeah it installed and locked me out and now i have to log in i think one two one two that's the password remember boys <laughs> it's like i'm gonna oh okay this time it didn't ask for uh the password for disk configuration okay what is this uh dom one operation execution okay let's do it i think i have to click on okay i can't click on this taskbar at the top but i can click on desktop create launcher uh applications okay it, it is stuck <laughs> it is stuck let me actually close this and run this one more time again as i said this thing actually requires a, a powerful pc because you're doing a virtualization basically every time you install any application it will install those applications on a vm template uh, whichever vm template you want to use let's say if you're installing a debian application it's going to you know install it on debian vm and then gonna run the application and same goes for the other templates if we have uh, what is the disk configuration password one two three four five six seven eight not so secure <laughs> password for the most secure operating system yeah <laughs> Okay, hopefully this time we can click on things and maybe run a few applications. But now I actually know how this thing actually works. Okay, this is not something that regular people are going to use. I mean, you're basically running VMs to secure yourself. That's it. And right now I'm using VM inside VM. Okay, now we have the smaller screen. Maybe this time it will be more responsive. Let's uh, click on this. Yep okay i'm not gonna try to change the resolution okay i think this is good never mind as soon as i start the dome it doesn't it, it doesn't work okay things become unclickable i think i shouldn't run the dome if i don't then this is not gonna work ah oh, man <laughs> but i know how this thing works again yeah i'm gonna try to run this without the dome so i'm gonna not run this 
and I'm going to try to open other things. You can see here it works. As soon as I run this DOM thingy, uh, it I think does something in the background. So it makes the system lag my system. It's it's actually VM. So look at that. We have the uh, Debian VM here. Services, firewall, sysnet, sys, USB and all that. I, we don't have anything installed, I think. Do we have like some application that we can run by default? Oh yeah, it's uh, Firefox. Is it installed on Debian or within the CubeOS? Default DVM. I think there is another type of uh, VM. Okay, I think we can minimize these. Okay, I'm not gonna run that. I think I need to run that, <laughs> but I'm not gonna run it. Okay, so yeah, this is the Firefox. Okay, let me try to do something here. I know how to use Linux, so I'm gonna run the terminal. Yeah, it's always like running things in virtual environment, I think. Oh, okay, virtual CPUs, the memory, the RAM, you know, so it's happening virtually everything is happening virtually <laughs> thing. once you understand this how this thing works it's not that how do i say this complicated to understand actually it is running everything in vm can i do this sudo apt update oh yeah it's running it's the debian vm yeah i can also install the other vms template if i go here where is uh something called i don't know how to add more templates. Oh, cube tools, cube, create new cube. Yeah, this is gonna create a new VM. Cube manager, template manager. Yeah, here it is. We can add more templates here from this thing. So here in cube template manager, you can see we have so many uh, uh, Linux distros that we can actually download so and use their applications inside the cube os okay so we have debian which is already installed and the apps that we see here default dvm i think this is the default vm uh, and that is the uh, debian and we have firefox and this terminal installed okay so we can also install arch in it fedora gentoo kali and hunix I don't know. I never heard about this Linux distro, but this is a, another Linux distro. Yeah, this is how this works. Again, as I said, once you understand how this thing works, it's not that difficult. It just creates a virtual environment uh, for every application that you run. And uh, it's, it's like, you know, when you create a VM on your operating system, any operating system, it's not directly connected to your uh, main system okay anything that happens on the vm stays on the vm it, it doesn't affect the actual operating system so that's how this thing works that's it for this one hope you enjoyed it but if you still have any questions or have any suggestions for me you can always do the comment and we can have some chit chat in the comment section too and tell me what do you think about cubeos have you ever tried cubeos or thinking about trying cubeos yeah just do the comment yeah that's it i'll see you in the next one take care of yourself and have fun bye bye